Hey guys, Seb here. This is tutorial number 4 in my series of tutorials about Red Power 2. Today we're going to be talking about pumps, which were quite recently added. Um, right, let's get started. This is the main object, it's the pump. It requires blue electricity to run. Therefore I set up these solar panels. Basically what it does is it sucks liquid from one place to another place. Um, you need to place these grates in the input and the output over there and these are the fluid pipes you need to use to connect right um, I'm gonna turn this thing on just to show you guys how it works uh, there are no tanks in uh, red power like there is in industrial craft so therefore you have to make your own tanks which is pretty cool okay so the pump is running and we should be able to see some liquid moving through here it looks beautiful now it's going to be making its way all the way over here and filling up the tank. Now as you can see I put this roof on um, for the reason that otherwise you have water spilling everywhere and it is a pain. Right okay um, it's creating source blocks in here as you can see therefore it has to take the source blocks from somewhere else. Now it can suck from really far away so if we're lucky we're going to be able to find out where it's sucking from but it's not sh definitely sure um that was weird it's not definitely sure anyways yeah we might not be able to sometimes you're able to see where it sucks the source blocks from but sometimes you're not okay so i filled up that container quite quickly right okay i'm going to be showing you the, the different materials you're going to be needing uh, you're going to be needing some fluid pipes, one pump, two grates, and some blue electric wire, and a power source, and a battery box, possibly, and b building material for your um, for the container. You're also going to be needing a screwdriver to change the different machines, the pump and the um, grates. Right, you place down a grate uh, in the water where it's going to be sucking. And then you use the screwdriver, sonic screwdriver. I'm using the sonic screwdriver because it's awesome. Um, but you can use a normal screwdriver. Then you orient it so that the output, which is this part, in the um, vanilla Minecraft with no texture pack, it looks a bit differently, but you should be able to figure it out. I'm just using this texture pack because it makes everything so much better. Um, right, you just place the fluid pipe there. Oh, what? you know what, well, let's just bring it this way. I am failing so much. Let's break that. Okay. Um, yeah, you just place the fluid pipe. Then you need to place a pump, and make sure that it's oriented so that the the black part is connected to the grate, the input grate. Um, then on the other side, you need to place more fluid pipes um, until you want the place where, until basically you get to the place where you want to deposit the liquid. I'm just gonna do like this a couple of times. Great. Um, oh, th I didn't want that to happen. Uh, let's get the block. Right, okay. Um, as you're gonna be able to see when we place down the grate over here, you're gonna have to orient it the same way as the other one, touching the fluid pipe. Right, now we need some electricity for this this pump here. It doesn't actually need to have a battery box, it's just good because of you solar power powers. Solar pals it, <laughs> it it won't work at night. Um let's get a lever. All right, there's one there. Awesome. Basically it's gonna take some time for it to get powered and it won't work until it has enough like enough electricity. Now on a lot of machines you can just right click and check how much, ah there we go, it lights up, there, it's turned on, see what happens. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna, this is also gonna display the reason for building a roof. Alright, okay it's gonna be depositing water. Okay this is like an infinite cave system, well not infinite but it probably has holes in different places so it would never overflow but yeah. That's basically how it works. Okay, um, I'm gonna be talking about some more mechanics real quickly. 
Um, an interesting thing to note is that it can pull source blocks from different places. They don't have to be actually touching the grate. So if I were to keep some of these building materials and quickly take this. I'm just going to fill this in here like so. Okay, as you can see now, it sucked out all the water. Ah, oh, this is a bad example. Let's put some more. We need quite a bit of, of source blocks in order to do this. To make sure that we have time. Because if all the source blocks run out, then it doesn't work. And I'm going to be explaining that in just a second. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just failing in every possible way. God, this only happens in videos. And I'm still being an idiot. Yeah, there we go. Alright guys, if you want any equivalent exchange tutorials, uh, just tell me. And I'll do that too. Um, I'm also going to be doing quite a bit of... Oh wait. Uh, like other games. Kind of spotlights of other games. Okay, right. So we have like... Source blocks here. Okay, when I place the source block here, it doesn't touch. As soon as it touches, it can actually pull that source block from other way other over there, over there, over there. Um, even though it's not directly touching. So yeah, that's basically the idea that you don't. The source block itself doesn't need to be touching. It just needs to be touching flowing water that's touching the grate. That's why the grate should be able to pull the source block. Is there a reason why it's not pulling it? Oh, it did, eventually. Yeah, that's the basic idea of that. Hope you understood that. Right, okay, um, next thing we're going to be doing is trying to implement this to make it useful. Oh, but first of all, I'm just going to have a bit of fun here. This should be funny. I'm hoping something interesting is going to happen. If not, then, nah, it's all good. We'll just leave that for there for a couple of seconds and see what happens. It might actually not overflow since it's above the top layer. Anyways, okay guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Um, check my channel soon because I'm going to be creating a, a video tutorial on how to use these pumps to create an obsidian generator. Well, um, automatic obsidian creator. Basically, it's the pump hooked up to a lava source and some water. Yep. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, dislike if you want to. Please remember to. Yeah, comment telling me why you disliked. Um, have a great day.